Hey folks, short video. Now, as y'all all know, I'm an audio guy, uh, particularly vinyl, but music in general, because everything, of course, you can't get everything on vinyl, but there's a lot of stuff on vinyl that you cannot get on any other platform. But anyway, let's go with this story here. Y'all see the title. Um, and it was from yesterday. Yesterday, Americans buying more vinyl than CDs for the first time in decades. Um, dum, 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 dum. Vinyl records continue to translate their retro appeal into steady resurgence, outselling compact discs last year in terms of units in the United States for the first time since 87. Because when I done that um, video on the... Uh, Oh, what was uh, what was that um, video I done on on the title thing, T-I-D-A-L and, you know, this music streaming services and all that other stuff. Where they were just talking about dollar amounts Well, that didn't that didn't bounce out right. The math wasn't mathing properly because the vinyl costs more than the CD. But now this is we're talking physical numbers as in units. So it's, it's been a change here. So revenue from the sale of physical vinyl records jumped 4% in 2022 to 1.7 billion. According to the latest report from the RIAA, I can't stand them guys on March the 9th, consumers snagged 41 million vinyl units last year compared to 33 million CDs an eye-popping reversal of trends. Vinyl pop, vinyl's popularity has grown steadily in recent years, fueled by collectors and fans nostalgic for the warm crackle. If it's crackling, you need to clean your stylus and you need to clean your freaking records. Ain't supposed to be no crackle. Set your, uh, your anti-skate and your tracking correctly. Clean your vinyl. It takes 10 seconds to clean a vinyl record. 10 seconds. Come on, man. Plus that dust and dirt will eventually damage the stylus of your cartridge. So there. Now where were we at talking about crackle? Freaking guys. Vinyl's popularity has grown steadily in recent years, fueled by collectors and fans of nostalgic for the warm crackle and that emanates from side A and side B. Clean your vinyl. Revenue from physical records have already started surpassing CDs as of the 2020 report, but this is the first time in more than three decades that more vinyl units were sold than their compact counterparts. Still streaming remains king, which I understand. Uh, services including paid subscriptions and ad-supported platforms grew 7% to reach a record high $13.3 in revenue, billion with a B, according, accounting for 84% of the total. Paid subscriptions comprised the lion's share, accounting for 77% of streaming revenues and exceeding $10 billion for the first time. The RIAA said 92 million people are now paid subscribers of a streaming service, up from 84 million the year prior. Total rec record music revenues grew for the seventh consecutive year, according to the RIAA. The RIAA said 92 million people, people are now paid subscribers of a streaming service up from 84 million the year prior. Total record music revenues grew for the seventh consecutive year, according to the RIAA, up 6% to a record high $15.9 billion. I don't have a streaming service. I, I don't, I just have lots of music on vinyl and cassette, reel to reel, dat tapes, DAT, digital audio tape and all that other stuff. And I'm willing to bet you that uh, myself and folks like me 
have some vinyl records that you ain't going to get on a streaming service. I've showed you guys some of them. Y'all be good and be safe. And like I've always said, more times I can keep up with. In my world, vinyl is still king. Y'all be good and be safe. Bye.